Thank you so much for joining our program today. Uh, first question which I would like to ask you is... Uh, thank you. The first question which I would like to ask you today is uh, what's the idea behind this uh, Chera Gin? Yes, so uh, Chera Punji, uh, Eastern Craft Gin as it's called, as uh -huh. you can see this. Uh, so the idea was to actually make a product from from here, as you know, Cherapuji and Mausanrama are the rainiest places on earth. And I think it was about time that, you know, somebody did something about it and turned it into a product. So my idea was to turn the rainwater into a product and uh, and then and, and present it in, in, a, in, a, in a way that has never been done before. For example, you know, I, do, I, I pack all the, the product in a stainless steel bottle, which is probably not a norm in the alcohol industry. The reason for doing that is that I think people can use it, uh, reuse the bottle. That's number one. Number two, the bottle is very, very light. Mm -hmm. It's uh, India's most uh, award-winning, globally award-winning gin. Okay. The reason for that is that we have used a unique set of botanicals, all from the Northeast. Uh, saying, for example, one of the things key highlight uh, that we use is uh, mandarin uh, from uh, Sora, the Kasi mandarin. The Kaji Nemo from Assam. We use uh, the smoke cardamom from Sikkim, the juniper from Sikkim, and, uh, and also from Arunachal. So a whole, lot, a whole lot of things, including tea, by the way, that we use, makes this product really, really interesting. And uh, therefore, we've been able to get a lot of global attention. Uh, being a local brand or being being born out of uh, Meghalaya, I think that gives us a huge uh, boost of confidence because I think. Uh, People are noticing that right now we are also available in in, uh, in the northeast as, as well as we are exporting to European countries as well as we are available in Delhi duty free. So I think it's a that's Meghalaya's first product that is right, that is uh, there. How did the idea of uh, uh, this idea of connecting Cherapunji along with uh, gin for the first time with the crystal clear water of the rainiest place in the world come to your mind? It seems to have quite a creativity. Yes, yeah, so this idea actually came about uh, during COVID, uh, everybody had a lot of free time. So when I was visiting uh, Charapunji during COVID, you know, very few people were there, but I saw a lot of tourists still there. And I asked them, why do you come here? You see rain everywhere. In the, you see rain in Bombay, Maharashtra, everywhere. Why do you come here? So the thing that they said was very interesting. We come here to see the people, the culture, not only the rain, it's, it's also the beautiful place, the culture, the way you guys eat. And I thought it's really, really interesting. I, I thought that there were so many people come, so many people who can come to our place, which is about two million tourists come to Meghalaya, or about almost about that. But just imagine the number of people who can't come to Meghalaya but also want to try or have a piece of Meghalaya. So my idea was to put Meghalaya in a bottle and give it to them. So the idea was always to take out the product or, or productize our place and send it all over the world. Where is the production plant located? Is it? How do you collect the water from Chennai? The, we have two rainwater harvesting facilities. Uh, one is in one is in Umiyam itself. The other one is in Mausanram, where we, the rain is rainwater is collected, it's processed, it's clarified, and uh, the and then again uh, we we uh, have the uh, factory in the in Umiyam, the industrial estate, where we make the gin. 
Okay, how has been the response till now? Well, Two it's years. Been, it's been phenomenal. Uh, local people or even travelers and in terms of I mean in Meghalaya the response has been really really good SIM is again really good uh, internationally it's been really good because I get a lot of queries because of the simply because of the number of awards that we've won because everybody knows it's a high quality gin we've got master we've got golds we've won awards in UK we've got awards in in, in, uh, in America and uh, we participated in Gin Fest uh, Tokyo recently and it's, it's just become like a world, I mean like people are talking about it so I think you know uh, in terms of sales, in terms of volume, it's just doing really really well. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, commercially it's doing fine as you said right now. Uh, what are your future plans now? What, how do you want to expand your business? Uh, the idea and how do you think that the trade name of Cherapunji is going to help you? So, the way to expand is obviously we make it more uh, available in more geographies across the country. Uh, bigger markets, bigger cities. We, uh, maybe, you know, all the metros is when we probably by next year this time we should be there. If not all metros, some of the metros. And our focus is also on exports because I think, you know, it's a matter of pride when you see a product from Elaya being available in a bar in uh, London or in Berlin or in Tokyo. So, so for me, it's a personal thing, a matter of to take Meghalaya to the world. So that's so, my idea. So why gin? Why not uh, whiskey, brandy, and uh, rum or beer? See, the interesting thing about, like I said, it's made with rainwater. So rainwater is really, really. Uh, like water is tasteless, right? You do not get the taste of everything. And therefore, when we, when I said we, I want to give the taste of the place, botanicals like the mandarin, the kaji nemo, the thing. These are the things that make it sound, make make bring the flavors of the place into a bottle. So, so therefore, I thought gin was a nice product to start. With. So, what is the cost factor? I mean, you know, northeast uh, liquor is uh, not that tax is exempted and also what is the cost? Cost factor is the same as any other player, uh, players in, in the country. For example, there are a lot of histories in Goa. It, it works uh, the same. I mean, if you have to send from Goa to Meghalaya or Meghalaya to Goa, the cost is roughly about the same, right? Because if you're coming into the northeast or going back from the northeast to the other part of the country, it, it just, you know, cancels out. Okay, can you also tell us the alcohol percentage? So, it's, you know... It's at 42.8. So not that uh, it's a spirit so it's a, it's a spirit at 42.8 so whiskey most whiskies in india are at 42.8 you know the there are a lot of stuff coming here with the spurious uh, you know spirit is added so how do you see ensure that quality is not compromised see in terms of in terms of quality there's a lot of checks uh, in fact we, all our machinery that we have is all european machinery that is number one. So it's made with really high quality, really high quality ceiling enclosure is, is, is done. Also, uh, the spurious uh, alcohol that you're talking about, I think that happens at a, at a, uh, at a level which is at a, probably at a much, much lower price point. This is, this is a premium product and, you know, drinkers of gin anyway are probably very few and maybe, you know, have a different sort of taste. So I don't see that as an issue and I think the excise uh, department is anyway looking into into spurious alcohol. So I think that Okay, what do you say about the judicial drinking? That means you should not get drunk and then get lost. The, the drinking, the drinking in India, you know. Yes. What is... Um, so, as per... I mean, like, you know, I'm, I'm nobody to comment on not to drink or to drink. But the thing is that, yes, uh, we have made a product. We want people to enjoy it. People have already been enjoying, you know, different sorts of different types of gin. So why not a gin from Meghalaya? Why not a gin from the Northeast? Right? So it's not, I've, I've not made the first gin, I mean like this is, this is the gin from our state, so, I think, so it's, it's probably all legal. Well, okay, gin is a foreign concept, uh, how do you compete in the international market? So we have not made a London dry gin, we have made a Cherapunji wet. So we do not use the methods that, that, that the UK distillers use, simply because they are better rated. We have made a contemporary gin and we have designed it uh, with, uh, with one of the best master distillers uh, from Netherlands. So. So, in a way, we have created something which is uh, which is local, but made for the global palate. It's a climatic drink. In the hot season, you cannot have it. But then, no, you can have it in the hot season. Okay, so it is for all seasons. It's for all seasons. Chirapunji is for all seasons for tourists. Absolutely. The way you can enjoy the drinks. You can. So there are different ways you can enjoy it. The British like to have it uh, with the classic. Uh, uh, tonic and gin and tonic then so that's their favorite go-to drink uh, I like to have have it personally if you were to ask me how do I have it I have gin 
uh, mix it with a uh, little bit of tonic and equal portion of soda so that you know this, the, the the flavors of tonic which are sometimes very sharp goes down and add a wedge of, of lime on top just the peel release the oils and just mix it and have it so let us go for a drink so that uh, uh, hello, we can I show one question uh, you are also while we are offering the drink uh, you are putting the gin and you are putting kaji uh, uh, nimbu which is the state fruit of assam yes these are two neighboring states is it a way you are trying to bring a bond between the two states not only bond between two states and a bond between all the states that we source from that's why i said i have not only put botanicals from meghalaya put botanicals from assam botanicals from sikkim botanicals from arunachal botanicals for even manipur So it's, it's great. I mean, I, I, I wanted to represent the region, not just 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 like my hometown. Basically, right? bringing northeast together. Absolutely, northeast in a bottle is terrible. Okay. One last question. Uh, you come from the legendary family of Dr. Bhupen Azarika. You know, we all know uh, Dr. Bhupen Azarika. Janta Azarika was a personal friend of mine. I know them very well. So, how does it feel uh, from music to wine? He created excellence in what he did, which is music. I am trying to create excellence in the area of. Of, let's say spirits. So yes, in a way, uh, both he and I are connected probably because we both have great spirits. <laughs> okay, now uh, we'll go back to the process of because we went to the cherry blossom festival. We had the taste there in Japanese Sanera. Yes. Uh, the lot of process is there involved. So can we have a uh, demonstration here? Yes. Yeah. You want to have a taste? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taste and the demonstration here. Uh, for this one, I'll make it myself for you. Yeah. Yes, and also the khasi mandarin. By the way, that's also a GI tag. These are both GI tag ingredients that we use with the gin. But this is a nice garnish. This is my personal favorite for the both of you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much Cheers. for joining our to program today. And on our behalf, we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Cheers. you so much. Oh yeah, before that, we'll just have a taste of it and then uh, respond to the. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It is tasty as uh, we have uh, tasted in the cherry blossom festival. Uh -huh. Boy, Rimbo. Uh -huh. <laughs>